Well, here we are, the time of year when temperatures can be anywhere from 70 to 100, and that's not even figuring in the humidity. So let me take you back for just a moment to this winter. Remember when the temperature got down to nine? <laughs> Polar vortex? Hold that thought. Now imagine sleeping outside in that kind of cold weather. Well, that's what one teenager did. In fact, he slept outside, forget this, an entire year. But he did it for a good cause. The 17 year old Rudy Hummel has attracted international attention for his quest to sleep outside for a full year. We think of the birds and the squirrels coming to the feeders in our backyards as visitors, but really they live here every bit as much as we do. Rudy says sleeping outside became so routine that there weren't any nights where he felt the need to go inside. On the nights when there were thunderstorms, I may have wished I was inside, but I didn't want to go inside because it was pouring. Rudy says those were the toughest nights. The wind would rattle the tarp around. I couldn't get much sleep. The tarp leaked. The rain uh, flew in through the side because of the wind. The thunder kept me awake. But to make sure he was always safe, Rudy's parents made some deals with him. He had a phone out there with him. We had a deal where if he ever started shivering, he would need to come in, but he never did. He managed it. And after gaining worldwide attention for his quest, Rudy came up with the idea to put on a fundraiser for his mission, helping others. He set up a website allowing people to donate to Habitat for Humanity or a bird observatory so the attention wouldn't be wasted on him. I want to be like him. I just, he's got more together at 17 than I do. <laughs> right now, really, in many ways. Rudy says through this experience, the ever-growing homeless situation has become more real. Yeah, I'm not going to claim to have any idea what it's like to be homeless, but it opened my eyes to the fact that, yeah, the homeless people are there. And while parents teach their children every day, Rudy's parents say he does the same. I like to think in general that children stand on the shoulders of their parents, and generation after generation, we can grow and evolve as people and as humanity. But man, he came up with a really tall ladder on top of my shoulders. <laughs> and as for what's ahead for young Rudy? A scout leader in my troop has offered to help me try to put together some stories into a book. So I'll take him up on that. Maybe it won't get published, but it'll help me at least um, immortalize these memories for myself. Rudy's friends say his heart is already so big but only continues to grow. If you compare him to the rest of us, he's the biggest giver amongst us. How about that? On Rudy's last night of sleeping outside, he invited friends to join him. He says before his first night sleeping inside, he had to spend about 20 minutes clearing off his bed. He also said he would do it all over again in a heartbeat. What a remarkable kid. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> well, still ahead on Dumb Over Life, it's going to be a hot one this week. So how's that swimsuit fitting? Up next, we're gonna get a little motivation. We're gonna share some simple steps that you can take to perk up your workout. Del Marvel Life Sean Stryker is already working up a sweat. He'll have some summer fitness ideas, Sean. That's right, I'm out here at the Y in Salisbury with some summer fitness tips that'll get you ready for summer. Del Marvel Life, we'll be right back.